Okay guys, so while I am now going to be reporting on the severe weather changes and we're going to keep track of all of these severe weather events and the extreme cold weather events as well, I've decided I'm going to call this series the Ragnarok Cometh series because anyone that's been paying attention knows that this is exactly what the Norse mythology said and their mythology was prophecy and it happens to be a carbon copy of all of the other mythology. So that can only lead me to the logical conclusion that they're all prophecy and then why wouldn't they be because we exist in a cycle. So everything that's history is actually prophecy. So I'm now paying attention to all of this severe weather. It's exactly what the Mayans also said was going to happen at the end of the cycle. And unfortunately, the Mayans were hijacked by the agenda of the establishment because they didn't want the truth coming out. They wanted us to just focus on that one date, when in actual fact, it's always been about a transitional time. Even the mayor themselves say that, and they said it started in 2011. And it did, with the huge earthquake with Fukushima, actually. And that's really when the shift began to accelerate more with all of the changes and we're actually seeing another shift now. It's almost like we go up a cog and now we're going to see an acceleration of more of these earth changes and particularly cold weather because we're getting a lot more volcan volcanoes erupting. We just had a volcanic eruption today because we have been hit by some solar activity that's very unusual. We had quite a huge hit here and we seem to be going in and out of storm and this doesn't make sense with their theory about the solar wind because it doesn't explain why the solar wind stops and starts like this and it never used to do this and I've been observing this data for at least three years now so I'm not saying I'm an expert but I do know what I see on the data because I check it daily so this is not something that we are used to experiencing, especially so close together. It's suddenly becoming very active. We're getting hit with these real good energy hits now out of nowhere. And of course, they're going to reflect in the volcanic activity. And the more volcanoes that are going off, they're changing our atmosphere, as I was saying in the other video. And they're dropping the temperatures. And um, Greece has got heaps of snow at the moment and experiencing severe cold. We've got over in the Middle East rare ice and cold and snow. Okay now I'm not saying that these events don't ever happen and this is the way that people that fall into normalcy bias try to escape the reality of what's happening and the changes that we are experiencing on our planet and they say well, this happened, you know, 100 years ago, or this happened 50 years ago. Yeah, that's correct, it did. But what we're looking at now is a lot of events happening at a very close proximity of time together. And it has been accelerating since 2011. They've even admitted that there's been more earthquakes at the beginning of 2014 that they've observed before. So there are changes there, and they're not going to report it on the nightly news on Fox, okay? You have to actually go and look at for it yourself, which is what I do because I'm just not happy to sit back and wait for them to tell me what's going on because I know that they are not going to and they never have. In all of history, they have never warned mankind of pending doom or, or anything like that. So you have to actually be paying attention yourself. So we've got extreme cold over there. We've got Hawaii now breaking 122-year-old weather records. Okay. So this is all because we're getting the solar activity. We're now man magnetically connected to the sun. So when we have these radio blackouts, this is what's happening. We're getting magnetically connected to the sun. There is like a magnetic connection. And this is why we're feeling it in that way where we can see the energy just locking onto us, creating a lot of energetic um movement with the particles which is why you get the atmosphere heating and basically this is going to just keep increasing the electric charge within our 
atmosphere. This is the whole idea of what Mother Earth and the cycle is actually doing right now. It's, it's charging everything up. And so we can see that these hits here are really going to play out somewhere. So I would suggest that we're going to see a lot more volcanoes going off and a lot more of these severe events. We've got a cyclone that looks like it's going to form on Sunday. There's a high chance of it forming. I would say after this here that it's definitely going to form. And we've got meteorite coming over Romania and exploding in the sky. There seems to be this orbital path of the meteorites around this area for some reason. So I'd be looking out for that if I lived there because it just seems that you guys attract these rocks and they do damage if they hit in the wrong place. And I really do think we're going to see more of these incoming meteorites. They've even warned about it. I will do a video on that article from NASA and have a look at that information because I'd also like to look at the Love um, Joy Comet as well, uh, which I've called the Emerald Comet and have a look at that in more detail because that's got some interesting information attached to it. So we've got meteorites coming in as well and it, this is just going to continue to get more severe. The flooding, the hail, the storms, we see those huge storm clouds and they all look the same now. Those big round clouds that have got the middle of them just full of rain and hail and wind and hell basically if you're in a car stuck out in traffic or your house happens to be under one of these huge storm cells so it's going to happen so you do have to actually prepare for that on some level I mean sooner or later we're all going to have to deal with severe weather because as I said it's just going to continue to ramp up we probably will go through times of calm again where maybe not much happens for a month or two but then it's going to come back more severe and it's just going to continue to build and build because we're heading towards the tipping point and so as I said this is what's happening with our atmosphere now it's being filled with all of this volcanic ash and it's dropping the temperatures it's creating an electric environment and uh, this is what all of these events are leading to a more charged environment they're even seeing that lightning is increasing and they're connecting it to the solar activity as well. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that was what has taken place in the last few days since that solar hit. So if we're going to start watching this information ourselves, we can take it from this point and we can see how this plays out, whether we get some more severe cold weather and uh, some more severe flooding and some bigger cyclones and tropical storms because it likes to whip up the atmosphere and create these huge big storms so i haven't seen you know this size energy hit for quite some time if i can recall at all so yeah at least a, a couple of years ago before i've seen this you know amount of instability in our geomagnetic, geomagnetic shield. So anyway, as I said, just have to keep observing it and seeing how it plays out and preparing for it the best we can. If you're in the place you're supposed to be, then you should be fine. If you're ignorant and you've not listened to your instincts, then maybe you've got something to worry about. But it's all in your destiny, so just face whatever you have to face with, you know, courage in your heart. That's all we can do, because it's all going to the one point in time. And so, yeah, it's all going to be a matter of each individual soul just facing what approaches. So whether that sounds ominous or not, I can't help it, but I'm just showing you what the information shows what happens at the end of the cycle. So we have to prepare for that. Which is why I suppose I'm finding all of this information and putting it together because that's how the universe works. And so some of us aren't blindsided. The ones that do want to pay attention 
aren't blindsided. The other ones, the ones that are too lazy to inform themselves and they're just happy to take information from whoever gives it to them and sounds good and appears to be knowledgeable, well, they will reap what they've sown. That's how it works. But until then, Ragnarok cometh. We will continue to watch the environment and watch the weather and wait for all of this to play out. But let's also remember that even when this plays out on a physical level with the weather and you know volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, it also plays out on a political level, emotional level, all of those other levels too. It just everything when it's causal goes through all of the planes, all of the different aspects are going to be influenced by energy. So just know that and so if you are a little bit, you know, quick to lose your temper or something like that, that um, you could be reacting to the solar activity as well. So don't be too hard on yourself. Alrighty, well I will leave it here and I'll put all of the links underneath and uh, as always, peace out.